Hi, Alex Forte here. The Art of Simple Golf wrist hinge, how to take your backswing away. There's so many different methods that you're told. Uh, maybe it's trying to keep the triangle. Maybe it's use the whole body. Maybe it's set the wrist first and then turn. There's so many different ways. And to be truthful, I get stuck going backwards and forwards sometimes of what feels good. And that's the thing with uh, golf. It's, we're not wired as humans to, to stick to one particular thing because every golf shot we hit, we sort of rewire ourselves. We have to start again. It's about uh, momentum and gravity and hitting a particular target. That's why it's so important to focus on your objective and not about the mechanics so much. But there is, uh, I think, a way that I've realized that is gonna give us a little bit more consistency about just how the, the right arm, you know, how the, the wrists fold in the backswing, how they function throughout, that's gonna give us a little bit more consistency. Now, what I want you to feel is that there's no particular point where the wrists are hinging. You know, we have the stroke to swing, which is basically gears, where we take away just the arms, then we use the hips a little bit, then we hinge the wrists, and then we raise the body, okay? That worked very, very effectively. But let's dial that down a little bit to make it a little bit more subtle. And what we're gonna talk about is the gradual hinging of the wrists. But how can we sort of calculate that to make sure that we still have you know, a consistent uh, angle throughout the swing, especially as we're coming down at the top of the backswing? What a nice little thought is, we're going for degrees wise, we're going 10, 20, 40, 60, 80. So it's just this smooth, gradual feel. And uh, you know, there's several players that spring to mind who do this very well, like Ernie Els is one of them, uh, Tiger Woods is actually one of them, uh, Justin Rose, another, Jason Day. They have this gradual sort of hinging. So it creates a nice smooth, action as well. So as we try and hit this golf ball, let's just try and feel like a nice smooth hinging of the wrist. We're not forcing it, we're just going 10, 20, 40, 60, 80 to get to that position at the top. And then we can sort of maintain the nice width throughout. So let's try and do it. So we just go 10, 20, 30, 40, there. Nice smooth golf swing. Very simple. So try that as far as wrist hinge and let me know how you get on. It might just make things a little bit more simple for you. Please go to theartofsimplegolf.com slash free for some really cool videos and a series that's gonna give you one of my best lessons for every department of your golf game. Please like and subscribe to the channel and visit the website for a great uh, you know, community and to see what other resources we have to simplify your golf game. Thanks.